Hi guys, it's Miss Chloe. I'm here at your preschool in the basement, so that's exciting. I'm excited to read this book to you, and one fun fact about me is my favorite animal is a dolphin. All right, so we're going to be reading the book, Max the Minnow. Oops. There was a school of minnows once that lived within some cracks. The quickest and most clever one, all of them was Max. Each day he watched the big fish, fish play and slowly shook his head. Now why do they have all the fun? The teeny minnow said. So he saddled up his seahorse Sam and said to all he knew, I'm off to ask the others how to be a big fish too. His friends all cried, you're crazy Max, the food chain starts with us. But Max had bigger fish to find and questions to discuss. He went and asked the hippest fish that he had ever met, a manta ray named Morris A. who led a jazz quartet. I digs what you ask of me, but one thing I don't figure, why you don't groove the way you be, no smaller or no bigger. Amongst a school of blowfish, Max's questions was, were the same. Before his eyes, they grew in size and made a boastful claim. We're brave and bold and big and bad, at danger we all scoff. And on and on, they went until a guppy scared them off. Maybe I can puff up too, Max told his seahorse Sam. If I can't be big naturally, I'll eat until I am. He swam right to the sea sawfish malts, the finest in the sea, and chugged down seven plankton shakes as quickly as could be. The turtles at the pizza cove could not believe their eyes. Anchovies were the only thing that, la that Max left on his pies. The octopus at Noodle Hut was equally impressed. He needed all eight tentacles to keep up with his guests. And yes, he grew. That much was true, but mostly he got fat. When clownfish classes passed him by, poor Max was snickered at. When I get bigger, they won't laugh. I'll show them I'm a winner. But then he spied a distant sign that spelled out Sharky's Diner. He swam right into Sharky's lair, and though no place looked finer, he told the shark her sign was wrong that diner or that dinner should be diner. The shark slyly grinned, The dinners are my dinner. The diners are my dinner. That's why I'm pleased that you stopped in and thrilled that you're not thinner. Max flipped around and swam away as fast as he could go, but all the food he'd swallowed down had made him far too slow. But as he fled, it dawned on Max that brains meant more than bulk, and quickly as that, he found a crack within the sulken hull. He slipped right through, but not the shark who crashed and gave a yell. I hope, said Max, you've learned respect and also how to spell. Now Max had learned, as you should too, that big fish aren't just made. It's what you do with what you've got that helps you make the grade. And Max had lost the way he gained, as you and I can witness, for he's become the biggest fish in underwater fitness. The end. Now we have all the animals that were used. Reads a little bit about them. So I will read you about the dolphin. It says a dolphin lives in the water like a fish and swims like a fish, but it is not a fish. A dolphin is a mammal and uses a blowhole to breathe air. Of all the animals that live in the sea, the dolphin is believed to be the smartest. Unlike most sea creatures, it seems to like people. Or it may be that dolphins are so smart that they enjoy studying as much, studying us as much as we like to study them. So that's super cool. That's my favorite animal.
the end. Here's a little cute little crab. So I'm glad that I could read this book to you and maybe I'll see you guys at